Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a good morning, good evening, or good night wherever you are. Um, so guys, um, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about my first ever tarot card reading. Okay. All right. So guys, um, I went to a new age store that is right around the corner from me. Um, and basically my fiance was accompanying me to, uh, the new age store and this new age store, they sell crystals, books on different types of religious faiths, um, stuff from like ancient, you know, types of beliefs, witchcraft, voodoo, whatever. Okay. And stuff. It, they have a lot of really cool stuff. They mostly have crystals and stuff and, um, you know, like sacred water, just all different types of stuff. So it's really, really cool and stuff. Okay. So, um, as I said, my fiance was accompanying me to the uh, New Age store. Uh, the New Age store is called Mystic Valley um, and is located here in um, St. Louis, where I am. Uh, St. Louis, Missouri, where I am. Um, and basically, guys, um, they were having a psychic fair. So, uh, psychic fairs take place on Saturdays at this particular store. And so, um, I saw someone sitting behind a table and I asked them, oh, what are you guys doing today? And they're like, oh, we're having a psychic fair. So, you know, if you want, you can get a reading done or whatever. You just write your name down on here and stuff. Um, the readings cost... Um, I think he said, uh, $20 for 15 minutes. And I was like, Hmm, that's interesting. Um, I had never had a reading done before and I was like, Hmm, I wonder what that is and stuff. And, you know, my fiance was like, well, that sounds interesting, you know, cause he hadn't had one done before either. So we were both like, Hmm, maybe we could do it. And we had the money. So, um, you know, we decided to go for it and get a reading done. Or whatever. Each of us will have a 15 minute reading and stuff. We pay um, $20 uh, like for each of our readings. So we'd end up spending like 40 bucks um, in total for the two of us to get readings. So um, I got to pick out my reading. Um, sorry, I got to pick out the person um, who was going to do my reading. And uh, my boyfriend let me pick out the person who was going to do his reading. So I just kind of went off of my intuition. And I picked this lady who was a crystal healer uh, to do mine because I was into crystals and stuff. And for my fiance, I picked this this guy for him and stuff like that to do his reading. I don't know what the, the uh, guy did or whatever for readings, but... Um, I'm, I'm sure it was something that resonated with my, um, my fiance or whatever. So, um, we had to wait because there were a lot of people at the psychic fair that were waiting to get readings and stuff like that. People were standing around just waiting. Um, the people who were doing the readings or the, um, the mediums that were at the tables, they were at like these circular tables and they all had different types of stuff to do readings and stuff like that. Um, some of the people did readings like tarot readings. Some people did um, oracle card readings or some maybe had angel cards. Um, at the time, they didn't have anybody doing astrology readings, um, but now they do. Um, and they have somebody now at the store who does uh, readings with like rooms and stuff like that or whatever. So, yeah. So, um, we had quite um, the assortment of people. Um, like I said, I chose a crystal healer. My fiance, I chose someone else different to do his reading for him. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, me and my fiance waited. We were looking around and stuff. And then um, the crystal healer, she came and she. Um, basically did, she basically came, she called my name and stuff and she came up to me. She was so nice. She just looked like she was filled with so much energy. Um, so nice and caring and stuff. Then she walked up and stuff like that. She was so nice. Uh, she was the nicest person you'd ever meet. 
Now, what a lot of people would say is, you know, psychic mediums or healers or whatever, you know, a lot of people would feel like they're demonic. You know, Christians will say that, but this lady was basically the picture of, she was the picture of love and peace and stuff like that. And, you know, I just think like a lot of, you know, people who were like stuck to their religion and all that stuff, I think that they were missing out on really interacting with people that are occult and everything else like that or whatever. So yeah, you know, I think that definitely um, that is the case. So um, guys, so she called me um, by my name and stuff. She didn't know who I was. You know, I'd never met this lady before. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Um, and then my fiance, he got called by the guy. Uh, the guy's name was Adam, um, who did his reading and stuff like that. Um, and the, the guy for him was wearing like these jewels on him and had these piercings and stuff or whatever and stuff. And like I said, the, the lady who did mine, her name was Anahata and, um, she did the, um, the, uh, reading for me. Um, my particular reading, um, I chose someone who is a crystal healer to do my reading because I was into crystals and I really like crystals and stuff and I thought they were pretty awesome. So, uh, she brought me over to a table and, um, on the table, there were her cards. She had some crystals on the table too, as well. So, uh, the first thing she had me do is she told me to pick up the deck of cards, um, that were, um, on the table. And she told me to, you know, um, hold on to them. And then she told me, uh, to hold the deck. And then after that, um, then she basically told me to spread out the cards and swish them around so my energy could get in them and stuff like that or whatever. And, um, I said, okay. And so I did that and it took me about maybe two minutes to mix around the cards and stuff like that or whatever. Um, and then after I did that, um, then what she did was is that she shuffled, she basically picked the cards up. Um, after I put them in a deck, she picked them up and then she put, um, she put a, um, a black tourmaline stone on it. And then she asked me, um, she asked me what it is that I wanted from the reading. What information was I seeking? And I thought for a second and stuff. And um, then I told her, I said, well, you know, I've been trying to open my third eye and I haven't been successful and I, I really want to be able to do that and stuff. Now, at the time when I was asking her this, um, I was under the assumption that um, you can open your third eye from just doing one meditation and it should be open and stuff like that. And I was frustrated by the fact that I wasn't seeing auras or, um, you know, I wasn't exhibiting any of the psychic abilities and stuff like that. And I still wanted the psychic abilities and stuff. And I thought you can get it just from doing one uh, third eye opening meditation and stuff like that. So I was kind of a little superstitious about it. But, you know, I just, I guess I just wanted instant gratification of opening my third eye and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so she said, okay. So uh, she told me to give her a moment to kind of get and, you know, get in her, her little uh, mood um, and focus herself to spirit and to connect to spirit. So the first time um, she tried it didn't work. The second time she was able to connect with spirit. Okay. So when she connected with spirit, um, what happened was is that um, she said, okay, I'm ready, you know. Uh, connected to spirit and I said okay great you know and so um, you know I, I just felt really close to her you know and stuff and I felt in good hands when I was with her and stuff like that um, or whatever and so um, what happened was that she spread the cards out um, she just picked it up the top of the deck and she spread the cards out like this Okay, um, kind of in like an arc shape or whatever. Um, yeah, like like this, like that, like a half circle shape. And then what she did was is she took her hands, she closed her eyes, she took her hands, 
and she went through the cards with her hand and then as she felt certain cards resonate she took the card pulled the card up and she kept going back she kept going and uh, she went through the cards and then she stopped and then she picked up a card and then she went through and then she stopped to pick up another one and she stopped to pick up another one and she stopped to pick up another one. So um, I would say she had seven cards that she pulled out from the deck that resonated and then she put the other ones um, back and she put like the other ones that were not used into the deck but the black swimmingly on top of it. And, um, and she put them off to the side of the table. And stuff. So um, she laid the cards out for me, and um, basically, um, she laid out the cards in order, um, in an order of how they're supposed to go, and then she started reading from the cards. Um, give me just a second, guys, so I can see if I still um, have a picture of the um, of the cards that she laid out for me. Hold on, just a second. Be right back. All right, guys. So I am back, and unfortunately, I cannot find the picture of the um, like the cards that she had laid out for me on the table. And stuff like that. I don't know where that picture is. I remember taking it, but it's been a while since I did get that done. Um, so yeah, it, it's been like a while. So um, so anyway, from the reading, she laid out the cards for me, and what she saw from the reading basically brought me to um, what she basically laid off in the cards like the cards themselves didn't like make me feel emotional but it it was just like the cards that she laid out and what she said from the cards so she said i can see that um you really don't feel like you're understood um you have a lot of pain that is on the inside and it's been bothering you for a while and you know you you're carrying around all this negativity and, you know, it's a good idea for you to get rid of that and stuff like that. And, you know, if you, you know, you want to, you know, basically clear away that negativity so you can feel better and be better um, than you are right now. Because right now you have a lot going on and stuff. And, um, you know, I could see that you've had this for a long time and stuff. You've had it since you were a little girl and you, you know, you, you just built it up where you just, you know, you kind of just accepted um, things the way they are and stuff like that. And you really have not been able to really release any of this negativity and stuff or whatever. And um, she made a recommendation to me and she said, she picked up the black tourmaline stone that she had um, and she said, she said, this stone right here, she told me to hold the, the black tourmaline stone. And I held the black tourmaline stone. And she says, what does it feel like? I said, you know, it feels soft. It feels, it, it feels like, you know, it feels velvet. It feels really soft. It feels really nice in my hand. Um, and um, from holding this stone, the craziest thing happened to me was that I felt, I felt the stone pulsing in my hand, and it was like beating in my hand, and I was like, what is this? I'm like, I'm feeling, you know, some the stone like beating or something pulsing from the stone, and she said, well, that's the stone um, transmuting the energy. What black stone does is it takes in the energy, the negative energy, and it starts transmuting it back to you and giving you positive energy. And she said, um, she said, well, I'm not just trying to get you to buy anything, but she said, well, you know, having black tourmaline would really be of help for you and stuff like that because it would help you clear out some of that negativity that you have and stuff like that. And I said, oh, okay. And when, like, when the reading was done, 
I was in tears and she got up and she hugged me. And this was the first time that somebody understood the feelings that I had inside myself that I felt nobody could understand. But this lady, I didn't even know. She just like tapped into that. And I was just emotional. I was like, had tears come down my eyes and stuff. And she gave me a hug and stuff. And, you know, I really felt understood. And I was just, I was just like, I was a little bit of a mess at that point. But I was, I was okay. Um, and guys, you know, what I want to say is that, you know, people who are, you know, psychic mediums, you know, um, you know, healers or, you know, other types of light workers, these people are good people. They're people who are there to help you. They're not people who are scary or people you should shun, you know, just because, you know, you're a Christian or, you know, you're from some other faith and you don't believe in it and stuff like that. It is nothing like that. You know, these people are full of love. They are peaceful. They're nice to be around and stuff. You could just tell from looking at them that there is light inside of them that is not present in other people. I mean, I see people day to day. I go to the grocery store um, or, you know, the mall or, you know, just anywhere. And when I see people, you know, a lot of people are upset. They are angry. You could just tell that people are, um, they are just not in a good mood, you know. But these people who have, you know, their third eye open and they have these psychic abilities and they're using their gifts for good. These are good people. These are not people to demonize and say they're going to hell and stuff like that. You know, um, I personally, um, personally, you know, I'm advocating for these people um, because in the future, I'm going to be one of those people who are going to be helping people. And I know I'm going to have people against me trying to say some BS to me about, you know, well, it's demonic or whatever. But, you know, there are people, you know, who could use help no matter what, you know, type of religious faith you come from. You know, there are people who are out there that are meant to help. Okay. So I, I just want to kind of make that perfectly clear, you know. So, you know, the, the crystal healer that I end up having do my reading she was the just the right choice for me and you know the way that she got the information on me is not because i told her at no point did i tell you i told her anything other than what i want to open my third eye um she was able to talk to my higher self and you know my higher self is the part of me that is closest to god and she was give, you know my higher self was giving guidance through the medium to me. And um, I really appreciated that. And at the time, I didn't know what a higher self was. But, you know, now, you know, I do have an understanding about, you know, what, you know, your higher self is. And, I mean, you also have spirit guides, too. People, not people, but, you know, you have, you know, basically guides that are there to help you and stuff like that. Or whatever too you know so you know you're not alone you know walk in this life you have you know beings that are with you that are trying to guide you on the right path and stuff like that but if you let things limit you like religion and stuff like that and what other people think you're never going to be able to walk your right path like you should be able to and stuff like that um, my fiance for his reading uh, his reading turned out to be pretty good for him. And, you know, the guy basically said some things that resonated with him in particular and stuff. And, you know, we both felt like we had, you know, gotten worthwhile readings from people. And these were the right people for us to meet. You know, like they say, everything comes in this time. And we were right in our time to, to meet these people and stuff like that or whatnot. So, you know, Adam and Anahana, they were really... Um, nice people and stuff and they each came from a you know walking a different spiritual path um you know in the occultic studies and stuff and like i said occult you know the word occult just means hidden it doesn't mean demonic or dark or anything like that it means 
to, you know, it means hidden, you know, that's all it means. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff now with science is starting to catch up with some of the things that people who have been studying the occult have known for a long time. And they're just now starting to catch up with it and stuff like that, too. So, guys, uh, today I talked about my first ever, um, what was it, my first tarot card reading ever. Uh, that was done and stuff and I wanted to uh, shed light on that because um, I don't think there's very many people on YouTube who are sharing their experiences of like how they've been progressing on their spiritual journey and I'm doing this so that you know other people on their spiritual you know path or you know whether they're starting or you know know nothing about spirituality or whatever they can get insight from somebody who's actually been through it so they can get comfort to go and to do it just like I did and stuff like that as well so thank you guys for watching this video and um, see you in my next video bye bye